The Prusa MK4 is unlike any other printer I've ever owned, and because it's different, I had no idea what to do when I got my first filament clog. Outside of directly contacting Prusa support, the help options online are limited. So here's the video I wish I'd had on how to easily unclog your Prusa MK4 without breaking it. Before we begin, know that you should absolutely not, under any circumstances, try to unclog your printer through the filament hole at the top. This will destroy your gears and won't even reach the clog. This is how you unclog almost every other printer in the world. But not this one. Don't do it. First things first, before you begin, make sure to unload any filament still in the printer. Next, remove the cap that protects all the wires. It should be easy to slide off with an upward pull. You can also unclip the idler level tensioner for maximum visibility. Open the fan so you can access things better and unplug these two cables. Each belongs to the hot end and will need to be unplugged in order to move it. Before moving on, make sure your printer is cool. Once you're sure it's completely cold to the touch, loosen these two thumb screws. They hold the tube firm in the heatsink and keep the hot end assembly in place. Once they're loose, the hot end assembly will slide right out the bottom. Next, you will need to plug the hot end cables back in because you're going to need to heat it up to clear the clog. Make sure the hot end isn't touching anything while you let it dangle to preheat. I set mine to 260C so it could really loosen the filament stuck inside. Get a pair of large pliers to hold the hot end steady and insert a clog clearing tool into the top of the tube. Apply firm, steady pressure and move up and down to eventually clear any filament stuck in the hot end through the nozzle. This may take time depending on how bad your clog is. Be patient and work it around until no more filament can be pushed through. Your Prusa should have also come with this teeny tiny nozzle needle. If you're still having difficulties printing, or if things aren't coming out smooth, it's a good idea to use this needle to push any stuck filament up through the nozzle to attempt to clear it. Once the clog appears to be cleared, just reverse each step. Cool your hot end down completely, then unplug the cables from the board. Reinsert the assembly into the heatsink, taking care not to pin the cables and getting the hot end into the proper position before tightening the thumb screws. Thread the cables behind those thumb screws and plug them back in. Clip your idler level back into place, flip the fan back, and finally, slide that case back on top. And that's it! Your Prusa should be unclogged without breaking any sensitive or expensive components. As always, I hope this helped and until next time, stay sweet.